okay so once we're done with the model the analysis is done uh, the procedure is after the analysis okay first step first we set the design criteria okay the next is stat modeling on the design part we design first the slab then the intermediate beam which will carry the load from the slab what else uh, you may also proceed with the stair again this uh, elements are not are designed as gravity members while the girder and column they are the lateral resisting members they carry our earthquake forces so the design forces from this two will be coming from stat whereas this slab intermediate beam and stair you can even design them using the spreadsheet okay and i'll show you for the slab first for example slab here is one-way slab here which we opened before okay the typical floor is 110 it's computed from here okay for example our slab length is let's refer to the plan structural okay let's choose a typical one so slab let's say this one the slant the length of the slab here is 2.5 not 4.5 because the bending is on this direction and this and your members so I'll draw 2.5 by 4.5 okay where's that okay here so for example this is your slab the main longitudinal bars are placed here while perpendicular to that are the temp bars and this is your main bar for a one-way slab your main bar is parallel to the short span so this is considered as our length this is our length which is 2.5 okay I'll input 2.5 okay it's required H is 100 according to NCP or uh, yeah NCP again you don't have to compute yourself it's already done by the spreadsheet R notice that if I input a 4 okay type of span where is that 3.8 mm -hmm. That shouldn't be okay. I recommend use only up to three meters. Okay, up to three meters for a one way slab. If I input say three four thousand, oh that's it. It obtained one forty. So it's not typical. You may you might fail in the deflection. Okay. That's why for a typical one way slab, your I suggest the maximum length is three meters to get one hundred mm. Okay. Now let's transfer it here S one for one way slab design. 
let's say this one 110 uh -huh. because the governing thickness is 110 okay let's try this also as 3000 to get 100 to update okay where's that g40 where is g40 ah this one it, it check this because if you have many let's say we have two ways love also I'll update this 4.5 by 7 okay you have 4.5 by 7 okay I'll check for long direction is 7 short direction is 4.5 something it's too much 7 by 4.5 long direction is it really no 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 it's 7 I think okay that's too much okay seven meters span is already a one way no? so this is only 4.5 by say half of seven 3.5 okay 3.5 4 by 3.5 so that's it for a two-way slab it's 100 a spreadsheet computes it for you okay and then it automatically transferred here okay it's updated 100 mm although the flood load changes at least we're conservative in our design in our modeling but let's focus on the design here okay this are provisioned from NSCP okay the spreadsheet does it for you already okay. the main bar is 10 typical where is this okay thickness moment okay so I'll override this with 3 meters override this with 3 meters 3 okay 3 because it obtained an error in the in the moment values and that's it the design is done already by the spreadsheet 390 mm spacing okay 150 170 okay so no need for a stat here because these are just gravity members you can design them using the spreadsheet okay 